Alright dudes, here we go, uh, this is a Arsenal Latch Switch tutorial. Um, I'll just show you how to make an Arsenal Latch and some examples of what you can make from them. Um, and yeah, okay. Um, this is the basic idea of an Arsenal Latch. Um, a torch, over there, um, that turns um, this torch off which is then doesn't power this so um, that's kind of a loop and then um, when you press the torch making this turn off this unpowers that allowing this to go on which powers this um, and this you can do any of these as your output like that or as I've done there um, so this is um, you can it, it basically acts as lever but you've got two places for it and you can do these like different like that switch it back off and just you can just mess around with that um, right the basic idea of an arsenal latch you um, one block there and one block there like diagonal so it's one block in between like that uh, stick one torch facing that way over there and one torch facing that way and you just literally chuck redstone there um doesn't matter which way you put it. Uh then you just lob some buttons on. Uh, and you can set an output there or an output here. Doesn't matter. And just chuck one there. Uh you can see this opened, that's closed. And then when you press it again it just changes that one closed, that one opens. Um so if you can see, okay. Uh, these are other designs. Um, this one is um, a too wide one. Uh, it's a lot more compact than this one, but that's just a simple idea. Um, you got the button here, which closes and opens it. Like that. It's just the same idea. Just this torch turning on and off, and that torch turning on and off as well. Uh, the, these are a lot closer buttons, so it could be quite useful. You see that opens there. Uh, close there again the same concept you can see if you want to build it there you go you just see all of it and then this is an extremely useful one uh, it's a one wide one uh, so you, it's uh, really useful just like fitting an array in um, so if you press that the door opens press that again you can see this design from here button there redstone Redstone torch, redstone torch, repeater, and then this is going to be your output here. Okay. Um, right here is an example uh, I've made. It's um, you can see these two are powered, and when you select one, I've, I've hooked up an array so it can tell you when it's on. You can see the torch is on, and this it should turn off. Yep. Yeah. And um, if you do the next one on, that goes on and that turns off again and then all you have to do you can reset it all by just pressing that and they turn off and that is literally just redstone all the way up there powering these two blocks like that and they reset it all and this is just neat uh, there's one wide of them I've got two there there's just one here reset you can see I've hooked that up to a door um, I activate it that does all this there's basically a one wide one but um, instead I've just hooked it up to this um, display thing there and that just reverts the signal and powers it on so yeah and the final thing uh, is this is a complex array and um, there you go, let me just see that uh, it's good for stations and stuff like you can just go through here and put your minecart in and select it but the reason why it's complex is if you select it that's the same as that one over there but when you select another one it resets the whole line and then picks the one you want again so you can press um, any one of them and it will always be the last one there um, so basically uh, when you press um, the button you can see that that redstone down there on the reset line goes first and then this powers at the end so it resets everything in the system you can see that there um, and then the RS null latch kicks in 
with that delayed time so um, it just works for one so the reset line does all of that and then the button you pressed um, that's just a, a raw restore latch uh, so we can just press the second to end one the array lights up and you can see the second from the end one uh, lights up if you go around here again um, second to the other end one um, it should, there you go it is lit up uh, so you can do this for like stations like um, if you just grab a minecart track and you know this design um, where you have one there and when this comes off it will change like that so like you press it and you put your minecart in come all the way down and it will change so if you haven't pressed it you just go straight over it but when you change it it should do that and you just go down to your track and just wire it up so that's a really good um, idea you can yeah you can use it for a station um, basically whatever you want so just just use this to your full example because this is definitely the most useful switch um, I use it all the time for my red zone um, it's really really useful um, so yeah just use this in your minecraft world and then you're sorted for redstone bye